Hello guys, welcome to 3ds Max news for the month of August. We start with 3ds Max 2026.2, it's the second update for Max 2026, and it's a very small one. We have in one side a skin modifier that receives some performance improvements, and now you can turn off the rendering for the material switcher and multi sub object previews to speed up the process when you are reviewing these materials. And... The biggest thing is that the USD received a big update with USD for 3ds Max 0.12. Now let's you send objects from 3ds Max as seen into a USD stage. There is a video covering promote, edit and duplicate USD objects in 3ds Max in the Autodesk 3ds Max learning channel, 10 minutes, that you can learn about more this new USD feature. In the other side we have Arnold that received different improvements with Arnold for 3ds Max 5.8.2.2 Now with HTML statistics to visualize better the allocation of the rendering times Arnold GPU now added support for the Toon Shader Improvements on the global list sampling for photometric lights and mesh lights Faster performance enhancements with faster procedural instancing and machines with many cores will scale better, and you have other improvements on Arnold as well. But we get a lot of improvements on the plugin side. We get V-Ray 7.2 that adds an AI enhancer for people and vegetation, an AI material generator that will create any type of material based on a prom that for now they are in beta. Now you cannot create only clouds on the sky, but they add as well the night sky, allowing to create accurate stars positions, light intensity of the stars, the moon and its different faces, and the Milky Way. Gaussian Splash, that was a new feature in V-Ray 7, now adds the possibility to clipping or isolate splat areas. A scatter clustering that we saw already on the previous version on the update on Corona, it's now on V-Ray as well, and allows to distribute your scattering geometry based on paint or textures. So it's very easy to group different types of assets that you want to scatter based on a map or painting by hand. Chaos Cosmos added multi-import to be able to import multiple assets at once. Light Mix supports now up to 256 unique lights. The mapping source in V-Ray Multi Subtext is now easier to apply and keep clean map graphs, since it accepts a mapping source directly on the V-Ray Multi Subtext. You don't need to apply it for every single uh, sub map. And each Multi Subtext has now the possibility to add a probability value, so you can add more probabilities to some maps than others. V-Ray GPU adds support for Gaussian Splats, the new Night Sky and V-Ray Luminaires with improvements on caustics and better memory usage and performance. And we have the new Fume FX7, introducing a GPU accelerated spectra based ocean with object dynamics. It comes with layered spectrums to get precise control over wave shapes and behaviors. You can mask different types of disturbance on water. You can simulate foam, bubbles and sprays that can be generated as Arnold points with access to particle edge, velocity and more. Both wakes will generate foam and bubble particles based on a wake strength and particles can follow the ocean dynamic motion. You can use particles to generate realistic rain ripples on the ocean surface and Noteworks Fiber Simulation integrates seamlessly with Ocean Dynamics, as you can see here, when you can simulate floating uh, objects around the water. Pretty cool update on FumeFX. Rama Khalid shared for free AV Lights Manager, a script to help him organize lights on a project that he was working on and now it's for free for everyone. Comes with one click randomization for intensity, 
color and temperature, group aware variation to split any selection into different groups and instance and instance each group for consistent editable sets. Batch option to turn on or off, camera visibility, effect diffuse spec refractions. Costadin Kotev created Meow's folder bookmarks to enhance the functionality of the default open, save, import, export, merge and replace dialogues in Max. Give fast access to your frequently used folders by allowing to save and manage custom bookmarks globally or per scene. You can rearrange the bookmarks, sort them, add or remove them, it displays invalid bookmarks and way more. This tool costs $5. Filippo Tobornix shared a very interesting script also for free. It brings an IRC chat irk, directly inside 3 ds Max. So you can now connect with other artists, share tips and tricks, ask questions and collaborate without leaving the program. It is still in beta, so you can report and give suggestions uh, to this tool. Render Fix Core Finder is a professional render distribution solution for 3 ds Max. It is still in beta. You can get 20 PC license to test until December. They have a playlist in YouTube showcasing the different functionality that the program is already offering. And yeah, you can try it and, and give feedback about the tool. Phil Flag created a stable build for Cloud AI Assistant and is sharing it for free as an open source project. You still need an API key in order to be able to use it. It creates clean and simple Max script in seconds. You can run it instantly inside 3ds Max and you can edit the code in your 3ds Max editor. Make Originals is sharing all the 3D models, characters and assets that they use on the series Brave Hearts. We cover Brave Hearts shorts in uh, 3ds Max news and they look pretty cool. And now you can download it totally for free inside 3ds Max Depot.com. Um, check how they are built, play with it, learn and do new stuff with them. Pretty awesome that they are sharing it for free. And during August we had SIGGRAPH in Vancouver, SIGGRAPH 2026. I was able to attend and showcase Max and Typhlo on different live events on the Autodesk booth. Different people come to say hi and it was actually a very fun experience to meet a lot of people. What really a cool experience. And this month, exclusively for my Patreons, you get six new videos. I covered a video inside SIGGRAPH showcasing the different technology and the uh, environment there, the vibe that there was inside SIGGRAPH. Three videos covering the demonstrations I did at SIGGRAPH focused on claiming real production assets that we use at Distillery to create different effects. And yeah, it covers different things about cleaning, using new tools in 3ds Max together with Typhlo to create simulations. A video covering how to keep UVs after retopologize and assets with different techniques that you can use. And another video covering the huge revamp that we had with Typhlow 1.130 that now we are able to access data channels directly from the material editor without needing to convert these data channels to mapping channels. So now it's way more straightforward and I covered it on this tutorial. And the 3ds Max is only for Archvith. We have NAC Studios that, that presented a full CGI short film called The Beach Never Forgets, done in 3ds Max, V-Ray, Typhlow and Phoenix. A very interesting short with a lot of close-up details, very realistic, and you cannot forget to check the making of with a lot of 3ds Max viewports where you can see the different tools in action. Alex Andriel shared this very impressive rocket and giant thrust with a ton of detail and a very cool behavior done in 3ds Max, Phoenix FD and V-Ray. A lot of details and a little of making of uh, with different tests that looks very very good.
make the different short videos showcasing some of their latest commercials where we can see Max in action for modeling, animation and rendering for this Sour Patch Kids commercial. Also from Make, this very cool mix of 3D and 2D uh, video for the video game Wild Blue Trailer. Norberto Aguilera with another fantastic animation that you can download it for free, as always, buy it in action and render it in V-Ray. And another animation, this time an animal from Manuel Alberto Avila with a cat that is animated in Viped, and he says that he loves Viped since to go from the standard work to the combat animation style, he just used a single corrective pose in top of the base animation and then you can get this total different look. Beso Sabandatze share some very colorful tests done in Typhlo, Phoenix and V-Ray of different particles in motion that looks amazing. And from the Spanish studio Linea 64, we got this demo reel for almost 800 shots that they create for the series Los Pacientes del Dr. García. It's a series for Televisión Española and Netflix, and they recreated multiple streets and plazas in 3D with lots of cars where all the backgrounds were 100% 3D. And we have one more time a Stefan Hampel that keep creating very cool environments, this time inspired by Agrabá from Aladdin and, uh, and the Mid Department. Always Stefan with all this awesome sense of a scale and complexity on all these environments that he create. We have as well a making of of the different aspects from 3D to comp. Always amazing stuff. One single guy, uh, 3ds Max, V-Ray, and a lot of talent. Alexander Korishev work on Proud Princess, doing lighting and look dev, having to do this windmill interior with five floors and a basement. Oliver Kenner did the simulations and renders for the Ocean Cleanup new video with a combination of 3ds Max, Typhlo and V-Ray. Radek Raval, a 3D senior environment artist at Angar 13, has shown his work for the new video game Mafia the Old Country using 3ds Max, Rhizom UV, Substance 3D Painter, ZBrush and Unreal Engine. Norberto Aguilera showcased how to convert any simulation mesh, a deformation, basically, to bonds sharing for free the scene and the scripts that he used on this tutorial. Very interesting to port this to any real-time engine um, application. Mm -hmm. 
Nikolai Stiboloka shared an amazing ring tutorial fundamentals for creating advanced rigs and what you will learn in these videos is creating and setting up the controls building hierarchically and point structures using wire parameters to link animation elements it's one hour of very quality content not easy to find online and way less for free this type of videos please go give support to Nikolai with a like or a comment on the video because we need to try to help these people uh, growing the user base to keep getting quality content like that and that's all for the month of August summer normally uh, not so busy month but as always we can cover a lot uh, around 3ds max thank you guys to be around thank you if you give a comment give it a like share it with your friends always loving it and thanks a lot a lot to all my patreons that keep me doing these videos and we had a lot of fun this month six exclusive tutorials for patreon and i have more tutorials lined up thank you a lot guys and see you soon bye